Hello everyone! This is Grace again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Happy Pioneer Day! Please join me today as we tour around This is the Place Monument. Thank you! driving down University Avenue right now on the left side you will see the School of Music building as we go past this stop sign to the right is the pie pizzeria which is a popular place to eat especially among college students it has a cozy ambience I'm going to take you there in another video so coming up is the Rice Echo Stadium. It's a football stadium to our left. So while we're waiting guys for the light, you are going to see the Salt Lake City tracks right there. Some people call it trains. Here it's called tracks. Okay, the drive to the This is the Place Heritage Park will probably take us around seven minutes. So everything that you see here around us is part of the University of Utah um, campus, all the buildings around us. You're going to see the library. And other buildings. Now, right now, it's 95 degree Fahrenheit outside. Um, it's really hot, but we don't mind it because I thought that this vlog that I will create for you would be relevant to the holiday that we're celebrating today which is known as Pioneer Day in Utah. We celebrate this every 24th of July. So let's see. In front of us, guys, you will see all these, um, the mountains. And look at the sky. It is so gorgeous. Beautiful day. Okay, so we are now on, I think this is 1580 East, yep, and it is 500 South. I like going on, um... I like going for a drive or I like going for drives just to see places and I love it that I have my video with me so I could take you around places with me okay coming up here is the Roland Hall um, Catholic School right there And just be patient because we will get there in a few minutes. This is the Place Monument is located at the This is the Place Heritage Park on the east of Salt Lake City, Utah at the mouth of Immigration Canyon. To get there, you can drive, take the tracks to the university and catch the bus to take you to the Sunnyside Avenue where this historic site is located. 
Now the clear blue skies, the mountains around, and the luscious trees along the road will make your trip pretty scenic. It will make it pretty scenic around this time, which is summer. To the left here, you are going to see, in this corner guys, you will see the post office. And that road will take you to student apartments. This place is pretty familiar to us because we um, used to live there at the student um apartments when we first got married actually when we had simon so yeah this is like going back um or going down memory lane okay cool we're now finally at this is the place heritage park let's just find a parking here Now, this is the place was the famous statement Brigham Young uttered after they reached the Salt Lake Valley to what he saw as a promised land. Look how nice it is here. So there you go. So this place, guys, is open from 8 until 5 on weekdays. You could also take trains to tour. This is the Place Heritage Park. And this could also be um, wedding venues. So for wedding reception, they also hold it here. You could also go horseback riding here as you tour the place so straight ahead of us you could see that this is the place monument as you know Brigham Young was an American religious leader he was also the second president of the LDS church who led a long excruciating 1300 mile trek with the pioneers from Nauvoo Illinois to the valley of Salt Lake City Utah in 1847 okay guys as you can see we are still in Salt Lake City Utah we are here at the this is the place monument so when Brigham Young came here in 1847 after that very long um, excruciating trek he finally said okay brethren this is the place it's he's over there with his fellow trackers. That's Brigham Young. Okay, because he led the Mormon pioneer to Salt Lake Valley, he earned the nicknames Modern Moses or Mormon Moses. He was also popular for his bold personality. Brigham Young was the founding father of Utah. He was also the first governor of Utah. So let's take a Close up look of the monument.
Okay, guys, this is the place monument was dedicated July 24, 1947. Commemorates the arrival of the Mormon pioneers into the valley of the Great Salt Lake 100 years before and also the role of others. Spanish Catholic fathers, trappers, and fur traders, official government explorers, and California immigrants who contributed to the successful founding of an empire in the top of the mountains driven from their homes in Missouri and Illinois because of political, religious, and religious prejudice. The Mormons began their historic 1,500-mile trek from Nauvoo to the Rocky Mountains on February 4, 1846, an event that had been prophesied by the Prophet Joseph Smith four years earlier. Okay, you will also see monuments of Father Escalante and Father Dominguez who were early Franciscan um, priests and explorers who were in search of a route from New Mexico to California but ended in Utah going as far as the Great Salt Lake. Their journey was known as Escalante Dominguez Expedition in 1776. They were the first Europeans to set eyes on the Utah Valley. So you could see their sculptures up there. If you walk around the This is the Place Heritage Park, you will see other sculptures that honor the earliest pioneers. Um, some of the sculptures depict religious rites, like a woman here praying so that their crops would be saved from the crickets. Now their prayers weren't answered because um, seagulls were sent down to eat the crickets. So that is just an example of a miracle. Angels are near us. They are. You will also come across a monument of Joseph Smith and Brigham Young, the first and second president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Now, we're going inside the gift shop, my favorite part of the tour where you get to see a lot of native products and cute souvenirs. all the time. <laughs> Take a picture. I love stickers. I always make sure to get something to remind me of my trip. That is always the fun part. So if you see here guys, you will see all these native um, uh, products here or native souvenirs. I could stay here for hours. I also love the Christmas decorations. They kept this all year long. I wanted to get some Christmas decorations but I decided not to because that would give me an excuse to go back. And you also have the coonskin hats which are pretty neat. The treats, um, treat section, that's always my favorite section. 
Okay, that'll be 678 and this one okay. yes oh, okay. press the green circle oh, green. there you go more native products for you there are Navajo blankets there okay our trip will not end here we still have some historic sites to visit that are related to um, the pioneers back then. So now we are going back to um, downtown Salt Lake to the Mormon Pioneer Memorial. Okay, we're here at the Mormon Pioneer Memorial. This is where Brigham Young and his family are buried. This is the All is One statue. This is a pretty neat memorial garden that honors the earliest pioneers whose works have benefited generations of people, particularly members of the church in all walks of life across the world. The hymn, Come Come You Saints, guys, he wrote this um, for my friends who are members of the church. You guys are well aware of the Come Come You Saints hymn. William Clayton wrote it. And this is in honor of him. They built this monument here. Okay, and then we are now going to see Brigham Young's grave let's go over there first maybe okay, we don't want to miss Eliza or Snow is a very popular name so you guys she's a very popular name Eliza or Snow the well-known Mormon him oh my father okay you all know this guys has lifted millions of hearts through generations and I'm one of them with its sublime message on man's eternal journey so say hi to her hi Eliza Arsenal There's the statue of Brigham Young again. His head statue. It's called a bust. Huh? It's called a bust. A bust statue Not of it. Brigham Young. Since he is the founder of the state, he's the first governor of Utah, remember? Want to pose here by Father Brigham? Okay guys, let's check Brigham Young's grave first. Enclosed. Okay, right here, guys, is the grave of Brigham Young. He's the second president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the first governor of the state of Utah. So he was born on June 1st, 1801 in Vermont and died August 29th, 1877 at Salt Lake City, Utah. And there are more um, 
quiet. Thank you. So this one is Eliza R. Snow's grave. She's the one who wrote the Oh My Father hymn. So she died in 1887. She was born in Janu on January 21st, 1804 in Massachusetts. Okay, there's another one there that maybe we could check. Brigham Young's wife. Very peaceful and quiet. If you need a place to hang out or just, you know, relax around, you could come here. This would be a nice spot for reading also. The garden is so nice. Flowers are so pretty. So this is the um, Pioneer Memorial Park. Okay, those are the apartments. Should we show them? You can't really see them. Okay. But... On that side, guys, you will see are the Brigham Young Apartments. So behind those apartments, or behind the apartments, yeah, is this park, the Pioneer Memorial Park. Okay, let us also check the Beehive House and the Lion House, which are homes to uh, Brigham Young and his family. I showed them to you on my first vlog, so let's check them again to see if they're open. Hi guys, we're in downtown Salt Lake City again. I showed you in my first vlog the Beehive House and the Lion House over there. And this time I am going to take you guys inside because they are open. So let's go. So that one is um, the Eagle Gate. You can see the eagle on the very top. So happy Pioneer Day everyone! I am always grateful for the Pioneers' bravery, physical endurance, and more importantly, their strength of character that they had exemplified. Thank you guys for watching my vlog today. Please remember to subscribe to the link below and click the notification bell for video updates. Remember, bawal ang malasado! Bye for now! Say bye-bye!